Hey blockheads, uh, today we're looking at the Series 15 minifigures. Now I only came across three of them in the store, and this was at Target, yeah, only three. So I grabbed them anyway, so I figured we can open them up together and take a look. Uh, really quick, just typical mini figure packaging right here. We've got the 15 on the top right, shows some of the characters on the front. Turn it over, barcode. Now unlike Mega Block, they don't actually have a number to tell you what it is. The only thing they have is these bump codes, and it's harder to tell here on the foil, but you can see just a little bit here, there's three bumps there, and then two right next to that printed serial number. So let's cut these open, see what we got in here. <laughs> Follow the directions. There's one. Oh, all right. All right, put them together and see what we got. Now that we've got these guys open, assembled, and standing here. Let's take a look. So we have this winged robot thing, android going on here on the left. Uh, really cool. I like that a lot, especially that metallic silver with the blue and that kind of trans wing with the black here on the back. Also you've got the Kendo Master here in the center with the two wooden swords or if memory serves me well the Shinai. And then you have a fawn here on the right with a printed flute. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what you're looking at though is just three of the, fit, the uh, minifigures from that whole series. But I'm going to take off their helmets and show you what these guys on the left look like here. So with the helmets removed, you see the robot here on the left just has that electronic pulse face going on, which is nice. I like that. And you've got the Kendo Master with just the headband and then just a almost a plain face going on. And that's fine too. Really the, the big shine for that figure I think is that headpiece right there with that silver or the red. And his armor or his body is really like a really dark blue. I don't know if the camera's really going to show that or not. Then the fawn doesn't have anything, and none of these figures have any printing on the back. It's just plain, blank, matching color on the back. And this right here, you can call it a sword if you want, energy beam, whatever, or you can use it as like it's uh, electricity or something shooting out of its hand. And it also is similar to, if not the same mold, from the new Ninjago line. So I like that. I like the use of that and the color on there. It looks pretty good. Overall, it's a fun little start. Uh, I hope to find more. I'm sure they sold out real quick. Uh, these are cool. I definitely recommend, if you can, feel for them. Uh, if you're one of those guys who really likes to get into the bump codes and say go for it, that's fine too. Uh, whatever works for you. Me, I'm usually a feeler. I don't rely too much on the bump codes. Uh, and really quick, what I want to point out is here on this fawn, the mold on those legs. Check that out. That is awesome. I like that. Looks good. Really gives that extra pop right there for that detail and that flute's pretty cool too I mean you can use that for all kinds of little fun mini fake accessories so that's it for now take care guys let me know what you think thumbs up thumbs down and don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to doing more videos for you so until then take care and just have a great day